Hi, Lacrimus families. It's Mrs. Mueller here with a quick overview of what you'll read in this week's Leopard Update. It's hard to believe that we just have two weeks left in this school year. And so this week is a, a week of learning that we are having. But there's one big thing that we do need help with from our families. And so I want to share a little bit more about that. So we have had Chromebooks devices in the hands of every student across our whole district. And so it is time for our tech department to start processing those Chromebooks and getting them back in. So they have asked our elementary schools to have Chromebooks return to schools on June 10th. And Mrs. Laux is going to help with that process. So your child will actually take their Chromebook to library with them June 10th or 11th, and it will be turned in to be processed for our tech department. I'm sure you can imagine the big task that that is for our tech department with all of the laptops that have been out to kids. So Chromebooks are going to need to be returned, brought back to school with your child and the, all their extensions, all of those things with your child on June 10th so that they can be turned back in here unless you are still only remote. Now, that means that on the 16th, our last day, our last Wednesday of this school year, kids will not have their Chromebook. So what we are going to do to provide for the learning day is we are going to provide a schedule and it's a tic-tac-toe choice board. And then we're going to have on that different choices that your child will get to choose for their learning day on that day. That kind of gives them some choice and some fun options to keep them learning on that day and connected here with school. So we appreciate your understanding of this request and the support of our tech department. They have done a phenomenal job with all of our tech situations that we've had throughout the year. And so on June 10th, those Chromebooks will come back. And then on that Wednesday, the 16th, your child's day will be more independent learning at home via the choice board. You're going to read that we have some fun events coming up the last two days of school. So on that Thursday, the 17th is our field day. And that field day is going to have our stations. We still are going to be in our cohorts, but they're going to have some stations, some fun activities that kids will get to do with their classroom and their teacher taking them around. Our pals is doing our barbecue for us. And then on Friday, it's our fifth grade celebration. And so we're excited about that. So the next thing I want to share with you is that you're going to start hearing more about summer opportunities. And so over the summer here, I want to really encourage families to keep some learning going. And our district is providing many different options for all families. So one of the options that you're going to have is called our Bookmo Bus. Last year was a Bookmo van, now it's a bus. And the book bus is going to be going around and it's going to have specific elementary schools. So it will be at Woodburn and it will be at Ballard and I think Dorothy Fox. So it won't come to us this summer. It did last summer, but it's going to go to more the schools where they had more neighborhood kids. But that doesn't mean that you don't get to go to the Bookmo bus. You could set a weekly time where you go, you check out books, your child gets to pick a new book at the bus and be able to take that home. They're going to have some fun activities. There will be the snow cone um, that that is there too. So it's a lot of fun and I really encourage. And I might be there reading one of those times when that's the most bookmo bus. So I hope that you'll take advantage of that. A couple other opportunities to keep your child learning. One of them is called Zern Math. Now your classroom teachers are creating rosters and signing your child up. You will have a, a code card that lets them know what class code they are and their username. Now Zern Math is directly aligned with our Bridges Math Curriculum and State Standards. They will be identified in for a learning pathway and this will regulate back and forth giving them the practice, it will kind of adapt to them and move through the program so that they continue to reinforce those math skills so that they get to start off solid when they come back for their next school year. The second one is for second through fifth graders and it's called News ELA, ELA or Newsella. And this is a really engaging literacy online option for you. 
And with this, there are all of these book level selections that students can engage in and learn about what they're interested in. So with that, you're going to see a Soar into Summer District website that you can go to and find out more about these. And again, your child's teacher will be sending home the class code for Zern Math and more information will be coming out. So be aware and start planning. How are you going to keep reinforcing your child's learning over the summer? And these two online platforms are great ways to spend 15 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe set a goal of four times a week that your child would spend on math and on literacy. We also are going to have our 2020 reading and those calendars, they're gonna be a paw with the toes and the little paw, which make up the week, the five days. And then there'll be the June, July, and August on the 2020. And then when your child returns in the fall, turn in your calendar because we're gonna start off with a drawing. That encourages reading. So go to that book, my bus, get some books, sign those paws, do maybe an activity in Newzella, do some Zern math and keep those, those skills going. So with that, I'm gonna let you read through the rest of our Leopard update. And we just appreciate families so much and are looking forward to our last two weeks here in this school year. Make it a great week.